Darren, you're the managing director of Darrenburg. This is your baby. How did it all begin? My grandfather, who was director of uh, the Hardy Wine Company, mm -hmm. uh, decided that he'd buy this property here uh, in McLaren Vale. My father came here in uh, 1912 and, uh, and grandfather and he owned the property. Grandfather didn't live here, mm -hmm. lived in Adelaide. And uh, Dad went to the First World War in 1915 and was immigrated out of the army. He had a lot of ill health when he was young, had rheumatic fever in fact, and, and he had a lot of ill health and the army was in, in, sent out of the army uh, in 1917. Mm. And he came back here. And uh, in 1920, he married my mother, whose name was Frances Helena Darrenberg. Mm -hmm. And uh, she died when I was born in 1926. Mm -hmm and I was named Francis Darrenberg Osborne. Right. Uh, I didn't realise that Darrenberg was, was a, uh, uh, an aristocratic family of Europe at the time, and uh, which was mm. quite surprising to me to find that <laughs> out eventually. And so you decided to name the winery after your mum? Yeah, well, uh, when, uh, I, when Dad died in 1957 and 58, I got married, and, and my wife uh, and I wanted to do a, a more fancy label. We had a very mm. plain label before. And I wanted to get into making wine to drink rather than just blending because we were all making blending wine in the earlier days. Yeah. And as a result, uh, I called it Darrenberg and I went to Prince Alfred College and I put a red stripe, which is the Prince's Red on, mm -hmm. on, the, uh, on the label. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that now is, of course, all over the world and we've got a huge number of distribution points, something like 80 different countries, I think, we yeah, sell wine in. So, wow. so it's come a long way. Wow. And because... You use Basket Press for red and white wines here, which is the only winery in Australia that does that. We got a mechanical one uh, in the 50s and, and, uh, and then as the winery got bigger, we built our own presses. They're stainless right. steel, they're state of the art, right. and they're all stainless steel cages and things. Yep. And, uh, and we have a lot of those, so it's, it's, it's a way to make white wines. In the big winery, mm. the, the white grapes will come in and they'll have a huge 20-tonne uh, press probably. Wow. might take two or three hours to fill it. Wow. So you see, mm. when you do it in a small batch, it's under gas all the time. You've okay. got the opportunity of keeping the quality under control. Yeah, and yeah. it's very important with making white wine particularly. Yes. It's all about quality, not quantity. Yeah. Yeah. Well, with the red process. wines, uh, Chester likes to put tread a lot of them. We do them in smaller bins. We do have some bigger tanks, but mm. most of it is done individually from certain blocks and certain flavours of grape off the mm. different soil for Shiraz and Cabernet mm -hmm. and and, and Mavedra, and uh, it's quite interesting when he's pulling the stacks down after they've been fermented in separate lots in, 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 in oak and so on, mm -hmm. they, uh, he gets these different soil types coming through on his palate. He's got an incredible palate, Chester, oh, wow. a very, very sensitive palate. Yeah. So he's got all these very fancy ones with the different soil types. They're only small quantities, yeah. but, but they're big high price stuff, and wow. people love them. They're really very yeah. interesting because the flavours are there. Yeah, yeah. What makes your wine so special? Well, I don't know whether it's so special. I think, I think in fact, that uh, Chester's got such a great palate mm -hmm. and we've got a marvellous team of people working here. There's mm -hmm. over 180 on the staff. Uh, building our own bottling in, uh, in uh, 69 after getting it bottled by contract for a while was a great idea mm -hmm. too because it adds another element to the quality of the wine as yep. you're handling it. If you're yep. not pumping it into a tank and letting somebody yep. else pump it into another tank and so on, mm -hmm. the, the, you do it under control all the way into yep. your bottle. And the, so that again is, uh, is another advantage of making wine, I guess. Do you have any current favourites that are in the Halliday Companion? No, I, my palate's never been very strong. I, I like it all. Yeah. You like it all? I like <laughs> yeah. that. <laughs> now, you must be so proud of what Chester have dreamed up here. This is incredible, this building. All the experiences you can do here. I'm very, uh, very uh, flattered by this, by the uh, interest we have from mm. people like you and and uh, the, the tourism organisations and so on. They all realise that it's an asset in the, in the, in Australia and and uh, they treat it that way, which is great. Well, you know, the wines are incredible, the food is incredible. From outside, the building is so striking. You don't even know inside that all of this is here. Yeah. There's so much to offer. Yes. Well, of course. Uh, the thing that really makes it work, though, is my lovely staff. And I say I've right. got a huge staff here with some fantastic yeah. leaders. They really are fantastic people, and I'm very blessed to have them. Because these days I'm slumming up, yeah. <laughs> and uh, they look after it. Oh, yeah. lovely. Well, you know what? I'm yet to taste any of your wine, so... Really? I think it's time. Yes, good idea. I think so. Let's have a fizz. Let's.